Dickinson State is back on the football field for fall camp. Coming off the program's eighth consecutive North Star Championship, a conference title and a spot in the NAIA postseason has become the expectation. One thing they're trying to accomplish is diving deeper into that postseason. After day one of practices for 2023, JT Faribo tells us more about the state of the Blue Hawks. Fall camp is officially underway for the Dickinson State Blue Hawks. Excitement levels were through the roof as this morning's practice officially kicked off the 2023 season. You know, the first day is always a great day. Um, you get to see all your friends come back, get back to the sport that you love to do. Um, it's just great, great feeling to get back out here, get all your gear back on, um, get in the field. Always a great vibe the first day. With over 60 returning players that have been working at it over the summer, experience is definitely an ace up the Blue Hawks' sleeve. You know, we've had guys that have been through the battles and, and uh, makes it, you know, you have uh, guys that are senior All-Americans that are back and, uh, you know, some of the some of the guys that are have, have started for us for two or three years. So it, it really does it, you know, and, and you still, but you still want to make sure that even though that, that experience helps, you still have to push each other and you have, still have to get each other better. And that's what we really strive to every day is, our guys are competing in practice. There's no pecking order of this person's first and this person's second. We always want our guys competing and getting better. This year's starting quarterback position is still up for grabs. Multiple guys will be pushing for that position and Coach Stanton says the healthy competition is good for the team. You know, we, we, we will have a change there uh, at, at quarterback. Uh, you know, with Aaron White started for us for us last year. And, you know, we've got some, you know, so obviously some candidates, some guys that will be going to be competing for that spot. And we're just going to let that be a competition. You know, Bridget Groven was our backup last year, and, and, and he's here again. And Carson Hunter uh, from Miles City is another quarterback. Jay Freeze from Flasher is another guy that's been in the mix. And then Will Madler, who's a Bismarck High guy who, uh, you know, was at Northern state he's with us this year so we you know we're, we're going to really push that competitiveness at that spot we haven't made any decisions there we just want to give everybody an opportunity to, uh, an opportunity to chance to compete and and see where it all shakes out uh, you know all of them are capable leaders and we know that uh, you know we know we're going to have a great leader at quarterback having won eight consecutive north star conference titles it's safe to say that the blue hawks have established a winning tradition it's uh, it's really great uh, getting those conference championships. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely not taking it for granted. Um, we could put in a lot of work to do it. Now it's just about taking that next step, taking it game by game, and then doing the best we can come down the road in the playoffs. You heard some of what this year will look like for the Blue Hawks, but there's still three full weeks before the season opener out west in Montana against Rocky Mountain. Dickinson State will practice 17 of the next 20 days leading up to game one. Their schedule includes 10 games this fall with eight being home and home series with conference opponents. A conference title will be the program's ninth straight.